Hi, welcome back to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. Uh, today we're going to demystify the serial console cables required for the Ruckus ICX. So there's been a few different ones over the years, and uh, so I'm just going to show you the current models and um, what uh, what console cable we use today and, and some recommendations from me. So uh, first of all, the 7150, 7650, 7850, so the later generation switches, they have two different console ports um, and uh, in all of our switches the console port is denoted by this binary symbol 1010 um, so you can always tell that it's a console port as opposed to an out-of-band ethernet port which has the ethernet symbol uh, an ethernet network symbol beside it or the usb port which obviously has a usb symbol beside it um, so that's that is i get that question all the time people say i'm plugged into the console cable with an rj45 and i got nothing on the console it's like well check the symbol beside it and make sure you're actually plugged into the console with the binary symbol as opposed to the um the ethernet out-of-band ethernet port so as you can see, it's got two different console ports on it. They both work exactly the same. There's no difference one to the other. Um, one is an RJ45, um, so you would use a, a you know an RJ45 rollover cable, and the other one is a USB Type C console port. So, in all of our devices, the uh, serial port parameters are always 9600 8 none one none, so no flow control. So keep that in mind, no matter what. Uh, ICX device you're plugging into, they're always the same. So this happens to be a 24 port 7150. This is a compact switch, so the only difference here is that these ports are somewhat separated out. Um, but you know, look always look for that symbol, right? So you'll know whether it's a console board or not. All right. Next up, um, what's included in the device is we include this this RJ45 to RJ45 uh, flat rollover cable. Um, and it also includes an RJ45 to DB9 adapter. So that's included with every switch. What's not included is a USB Type-C uh, cable, right? So if you want one of those, you need it separately. The other thing you're going to need, unless your laptop is super old school, you're going to need um, an, a DB9 to USB adapter of some sort, right? So this is the one I use. Uh, pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of different ones out there. Uh, they pretty much all the generic ones work with our devices as far as I know. Um, I've tried several of them and they all work fine, but that's the one I use. It's just compact and easy to carry. Um, so this would be just a generic USB type C to USB uh, type A cable. You can buy these off Amazon or wherever. Um, you know, they come in, I think they come in three foot, six foot, nine foot. So nine foot's pretty handy to have. Um, but I have a whole pile of them. I have a Galaxy phone, so uh, one came with that. Um, so, you know, you've, you've probably got these for other devices anyway, but it, it's always a great thing to have. Then you don't have to carry that that uh, serial cable with you and the, and the um, you know, DB9 to USB adapter, right? You could plug it directly into your laptop. Uh, the other thing that uh, I've come across recently, which is really cool, is this RJ45 to USB. Uh, this one's a USB type C, so I can plug it directly into a MacBook. Or um, they also come in uh, RJ45 to um, USB type A. So you can avoid the whole, um, you know, uh, RJ45 to DB9 and then DB9 to USB, you can go straight from RJ45 to USB, which is fantastic. So um, I can plug that straight into a MacBook without having to carry any kind of adapter on my MacBook or, or anything like that. So that's a that's a beautiful little cable. You can buy those off Amazon for cheap. Um, so next we have 7250, 7450, 7750. Uh, and so they have a uh, mini USB, uh, I believe it's called a USB Type B. Um, so it's a it's a mini USB. Again, you can tell from the binary 1010 that this is my console port. Um, this is an out of band management port. You can tell by the Ethernet symbol and of course the USB for a flash drive. Uh, so this one happens to be the 7450, where the um, the console cable is below the out of band management. This one is a 7250 where it's above, but basically just look for the symbol. You know, it's easy to find. Um, but that is, that is, um, you know, in those in the older generation of switches, we have those. 
And so it'll come with a mini USB to DB9 cable. Uh, and then again, you're going to need a DB9 to uh, USB adapter. So I have not found any cable out there that is a mini USB to um, to USB type A or USB C that also converts it, uh, the serial. So uh, I haven't found one. Um, I, I ordered a couple of different ones to try, but none of them work. So, um, you know, keep, keep that cable close to you. Uh, don't lose that cable because it's important. It's, uh, it's hard to find those, those mini USB to DB nines. So that's it. Uh, the older generation of switches, so old, much older. So we're talking Big Iron, Net Iron, Fezx, Fez, um, the the ICX 6000 series in some cases use DB9 run on the switch. So those will come with the DB9 to DB9 cable. Uh, and so obviously you're still going to need the DB9 to USB, but um, that's just a straight through cable. So it's not a it's not a rollover cable. It's not. Um, you know, anything else. It's a straight through serial extension cable if you need to replace it. Uh, but, you know, those switches are getting more and more rare these days. None of our current generation switches have a DB9 on them. So it's not something you should run into. But if you do run into it in the field, just a straight through DB9 to DB9 cable will, uh, will get you there. All right. So that's it. Uh, I hope that helped out and we'll see you next time. Take care.